Hello Leo and welcome to your April guidance with me Julie Paul. Thank you so much for being here. This is a general reading for Leo for April and that's good for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross watching and do check out your other signs as well guys. All right your central energy the Queen of Coins, Faith, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the two of wands all right those are from the tarot of dreams guys all the um, cards i use are linked below all right um, and this is a general read i don't know if i just told you that <laughs> so, take what resonates leave what doesn't so that's from the animal oracle we've got panther spirit reclaim your power if you want a private reading specific for you the link is below these are the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Okay, we've got Mending. We're mending your power this month, Leo. So where you've been losing your power, you are healing it. From the answer is simple, we've got Reach Out. And from the Energy cards, we have... Victory. Wow, you're going to be victorious here, guys. This is a very powerful month for you, my Leos. All right, my darling. So your central energy is the queen of coins, all about your security, your money, your personal power. The queen of coins is very powerful woman, male or female, doesn't matter who you are. This is a general read. So allow the um, gender to be non-gender specific. OK, but the queen of coins is somebody who's very shrewd financially, makes wise investments, knows who she is and where she's going. She's got a plan. She knows what she wants and she's on a mission to make it happen. Now, I like the way that she's looking at the faith card here next to her. She has absolute faith. And as long as she stays in the faith, she is good. She is aligned with her goals and her aspirations. When we step out of the faith is when we're stepping away from the energy of flow. So the faith card is here very strongly for you to say, hold the faith keep the faith that you have the power and that you can create that security abundance wealth success that strong foundation that stability that you are wanting because it is there for the taking but there's lots of different options and choices in order of receiving that to what do you want to receive what are you aligning with the Seven of Cups is a card about choices and options. There being more choices than you were perhaps aware of. As some of you had lost your power, which has created great anxiety with that Ten of Swords. You've lost your power to a job or a boss or a person or a situation. And so you couldn't see the choices. But this month you are reclaiming your power so that anxiety can come to an end with the Ten of Swords completion of that by you reclaiming your power. And that enables you to have more options, more choices, and that opens new doors for you because you make different choices. So the Two of Wands is a card of expansion and growth. I can go in a different direction. I can do it differently. You often see it with the ordinary tarot um, where he's holding a globe and it's saying the world is my oyster. I can create what I want to create because I've got my two wands which balance me and I can move myself along this staircase along this walkway to any door that I want I'm allowing myself to open up to new opportunities and new ways of being the panther spirit is saying that all of this is linked in with your power as you reclaim your power, you come into mastery, which gives you a strong foundation. It's the number 44, which we don't bring that down to an eight. Fours are about foundations and 44 is a master number of the foundation within you of your own power. As you have your own power, you claim it back, you reclaim it. 
then you are stepping into this energy of power to create what you want to create. And the queen of coins is all about that very solid, stable foundation. And so the number 44 is enabling you to bring that foundation in by claiming your power. Now, some of you have lost it. There's no doubt of that because we've got the Ten of Swords here and we have the reclaim, not you're in your power. It's reclaim it, take it back and we need to mend it, all right? The energy of mending is we're healing and repairing. So you're being asked in April here to look at where you have given your power away. We don't lose it, we give it away. And we don't realize we're doing it. We don't do it on purpose. We just find that we have perhaps been a little bit too accommodating, perhaps being a little bit too um, loose in our boundaries. And so our power just sort of mm, disappears bit by bit before we've even noticed. So this is the time to notice where you may have lost your power, let it go, giving it away with, you know, somebody trying to take it. it. This is the time to take it back. You're mending and repairing your own sense of power to enable you to come into this beautiful energy here of stability and financial abundance. Now, some of you will find that it's easier for you to achieve this if you reach out for help. This is a card about allowing yourself to reach out for help, that you can do it on your own, but it's a lot easier if you reach out for help. So perhaps one of the things you may do is go and watch some YouTube videos on, you know, reclaiming your power, getting in your power, um, get your power back, look at things like that. And also videos on self-love, self-mastery, anything to do with personal power. Go and get that help from outside of you. Some of you may want to reach out to a therapist or, um, you know, on my website, there is downloads on self-love and self-empowerment, confidence, things like that. But there's lots of free stuff as well available in YouTube, on Google, go, and books on Amazon. Go and see what is right for you. But they're saying to you, reach out. You may be as simple as reaching out to a friend to talk it through and get some support. Uh, it may be reaching out to the person who's taken your power without even realizing it. Well, as I say, they don't take your power, we give it away. But once you realize that we've given it away and you take it back, you may want to explain and reach out to them to say, actually, you quite disempowered me doing that and, you know, please stop it. So reach out in whatever way feels right for you. But the outcome is victory, my darlings, victory. Leo, you're going to be victorious. You're going to get your power back. You're going to mend it and heal it. You're going to open up the world for you to go in different directions and do things differently that is much more successful and abundance. There is absolutely no doubt that victory is yours, my darlings. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you for April. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for being here. If this reading resonated, do give it a like, share, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.